Hey everybody, welcome back to my Star Wars channel. My name is David and today we're going to look at the vintage 1978 Kenner X-Wing. We would be honored if you would join us. All right, the X-Wing Starfighter, uh, most famously Red 5, right, from A New Hope. Uh, driven by Luke Skywalker, Mark Hamill. Uh, mine's sitting right up there. And uh, I've actually had two. Now, I never had one as a child, okay? I never had one as a kid. It was like $15 when it came out, which back then was a ton of money, right? Ton of money. If back then, gas was under a dollar a gallon. So, you know, there's no way my parents could have afforded that. I had a couple of figures, and that was the extent of my Star Wars collection. I've purchased all of my uh, toys later in life, uh, as uh, I sorted out my priorities. <laughs> and uh, I, let me just tell you uh, about how I've purchased some of my vintage ships, because I have a lot of vintage ships. Um, maybe there's a couple more I still want. I still really want the Shuttle Tidarium. I really want that one. Um, we'll see. Uh, but uh, when I look for a ship, right, I'm always looking out on eBay. Uh, there's two ways you can, you can purchase your ships. Uh, one, uh, you could uh, buy it completely whole right? Uh, the listing says it has all its parts and it has all its decals and lights and sound work. Like when, the, when it checks off all those boxes, it's going to be higher, right? It's going to be a lot more money. But if you don't want to do the work and you want it completely vintage and you want it just shipped to you as is and you don't want to have to do any of the work, uh, that's a great way to do it. And uh, certainly with ships whose parts cost a lot more money and are a lot harder to find, that's a good option. So that's what I did with the Millennium Falcon. The Millennium Falcon, uh, I was thinking about putting it together, you know, finding parts here and there. But when I did the research, the little extra pieces that are sometimes missing, those can be very expensive just for the little pieces. So it didn't make sense economically to buy a cheap hull and then to go out and keep spending more money on all the pieces. For me, it made more sense just to save my money and buy a Falcon that was already put together. Uh, and the cloud car, pretty much the same way. Uh, the um, snow speeder was pretty much the same way because both of those ships, they, they, you know, they don't have a lot of pieces. The TIE fighter doesn't have a lot of pieces, okay? But if you wanted to piece out a TIE fighter, it wouldn't be hard, right? All those pieces are, are out there. And so I would say the X-Wing and the Y-Wing are, are pretty easy to build as well. The pieces for those ships, Y-Wing not as much, but the pieces are out there and they're not as expensive. So if you wanted to buy like a cheap beater X-Wing or a cheap beater Y-Wing, especially a TIE Fighter, um, it'd be really easy to piece it out and pay a little here, pay a little there and build it over time so that the cost wasn't as high. Now I've had two X-Wings. I've had two X-Wings. I had one that was this one right here. It was a beater. Uh, it was had really junky stickers and I took it all apart and I cleaned all of the parts uh, with cleaner and got everything back to white again. And then I ended up putting retro stickers on it and uh, sold it. Sold it for money and you use that money to then buy a completely vintage X-Wing that had all of its original stickers. And I'm gonna be showing you both in this. So this is my all vintage X-Wing. And as you can see, it doesn't have as much white on it, but I'm not going to take it apart to clean it because it has all vintage stickers. So we're talking about the removable parts that are sometimes lost or that you have to replace. And so the vintage X-Wing has five loose parts. Um, one of them is this. This is the transparent canopy and it's uh, usually missing and you can find those on eBay. And then the other four are the KX-9 laser cannons that are attached to the wings. And of course, um, decals. Decals are another thing that are sometimes missing. But like I said, there's a lot of great uh, vintage repro repros out there uh, should you want to go that direction. So let's talk a little bit about the toy. Um, this came out in 1978. And like I said, it had a retail price of $14.99. I think most notably, what everyone talks about is the X-Wing is not to scale. The ship is way too small compared to the figure size. But, you know, if the X-Wing had been scale, if it had been one-to-one, -one, the X-Wing pilot figure, I mean, as, you know, a reference, the X-Wing would have been massive. It would have been a super massive toy. Um, the cockpit here is a little tight, and so it really only holds one figure, right? It only holds one figure, and it doesn't hold all 
of the Star Wars figures, obviously. It's only going to hold a figure that's a little on the smaller side. I put a vintage retro figure in all of my ships. So if I have a ship that's on display, I always make sure I get a like a little uh, beater figure. Uh, I, don't, I don't pay too much more for them. I don't care if they've got scratches uh, or loose limbs. I just make sure that I've always got a figure inside. This toy is made all from white plastic, as you saw earlier, and uh, it has these red and yellow stickers throughout. The other thing you probably noticed in the back here is that there's an R2-D2 shell. This is not a figure. Um, if you look at the Y-Wing here, there is a figure, right? There's a figure here, but that is a real figure. That's a removable figure. This is not a figure. It's not removable. He's actually a button, and if you press him, he activates the wings. So for playability, the X-Wing has three uh, play features. The first of which is it has retractable landing gear, okay? Just there in the front. The bottom two pieces, there's some little struts that stick out and they are permanent. The second feature is the laser light. And I'm gonna show you some footage here from my older ship. This was the first one and you can hear that screen accurate <laughs> laser sound. That's what a lot of these uh, vintage ships sound like. That's the button and uh, you know what they sound like. And it makes that sound with two AA batteries. And the last feature, and this is probably the coolest and what every kid wanted, right? Was the locking the S foils in the attack positions. And so when you press down on R2's head like that, the S foils lock like that. And so then you have your action X-Wing. And then to release them, there's this little slide button here and that closes the wings. You know, when we were talking about building your collection and looking for different ships to purchase, I don't think there's even an argument that if you're gonna start, right? If you're gonna start and you have no, no ships at all, the first two I would highly recommend are getting your vintage X-Wing and your TIE Fighter. I think those frame out a collection beautifully. There's a lot of other great ships, right? You really love the Slave One, you really love the Falcon, even the Snowspeeder, right? I love all those ships too and, I, and I've collected them, but I knew in my heart of hearts that I had to start with these two because growing up, I'm a, I'm a child of the, the 70s. I was there when Star Wars first came out. So I'm a fan of everything Star Wars. If you watch this channel, subscribe to this channel, I'm never gonna hate on or bag on, on anything Star Wars, any director. I don't bag on Disney. I don't bag on any of the actors or any of the films or the scripts. If it says Star Wars, it has Star Wars on it. I love it because I, I am a true Star Wars fan. I don't hate anything. Um, this is just what I wanted so much so growing up when I was a kid. You know, you knew some kids that were lucky enough to have an X-Wing or a TIE Fighter and you were like so jealous of them. So just to have a real vintage X-Wing now with all its decals, um, I, I don't care, it has a little bit of wear, a little bit of weathering because to me that just says, you know, it was played with, it was loved by, you know, some kid growing up. And to that kid that's out there, to that little kid, I, I have your X-Wing now, <laughs> but I'm taking really good care of it and I love it. And uh, thanks for allowing your story to cross with mine. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope this helps you on your journey as you begin to purchase some vintage uh, figures and ships as well. Feel free to always ask me questions down below in the comment section. I will always answer. Hey, thanks for watching. May the force be with you. I'll see you next time. Bye.